Thinking of the airport as a very complex managed landscape is productive because it accounts for its scale, it accounts for its ecological and infrastructural complexity, and it allows us to think about the airport as both a, a form of city, but also as a site of ecologies. Denver International Airport, as the most recent of the large airports in North America, has already begun to think about and curate its landscape as a, a medium through which the airport could be legible. Denver has an amazing amount of land that the city and the county of Denver kept as a reserve for future development. The land can now be used to develop office, hospitality, retail, research campuses, technology campuses, advanced manufacturing that can complement Denver's growth. The thing that we're going to see in the future at the airport is much more development around the terminal building and around the perimeter of the airport. So the airport is in many ways going to have now tentacles that reach out to the community and cause more growth uh, along the way. The impact of technology on transit-oriented development is somewhat of a game changer. We're really focused on research pointing towards autonomous vehicles and the next generation of mobility. From Penny Station Next to the airport to some of these other TOD stops and mixed-use communities that are talked about. Transit-oriented developments, in my mind, provide an excellent opportunity to bring the inside world to the outside world. There are many different things that we're looking at including Hyperloop, uh, Arivo is another technology that we're working with to understand how that could be integrated within the uh, transportation network. We work a lot on Hyperloop tech and the direct or indirect relation that Hyperloop might have with airports. So when you think about end-to-end -end user experience, it's a huge opportunity to design transit systems from the ground up, interconnect and interface with other existing transportation systems that allow the overall journey to be improved. You have to think about land differently than has been thought of in the historical context of airport planning. All land uses don't work in an airport, but many do that people don't typically think of. Uh, logistics is a great example. Another area is the integrating mixed land use, including residential, near airports. It's taboo to say that. The FAA is really opposed to it, but that's ancient thinking. Going forward, there's no reason why with quieter airplanes, with better sound insulation and new construction, you can't combine the two. Our current incentives are set up so that hotels and franchise, restaurants, they can buy cheap land and develop a very safe rate of return for their investors. And that is a short-sighted solution for how you can actually maximize the land value in the future. The smart thing to look at is to really expand and have more civic or more meaningful technological cores that actually are places of employment and desirable places to be. Before it's a question for me of land value or development, it has to do really with the role of civil society and governance in making decisions about the growth of the city. Because too often, the autonomy of the airport and its remoteness contribute to a culture where we think of land development as the primary engine rather than a city building. From a transportation planning standpoint, breaking down the barriers of time through hyperconnectivity on ground transportation is massive and it will have long-lasting implications to regional development. The airport is really in a position between different communities aside from Denver, so it's regionally located to access a Boulder, Fort Collins, and other rapidly growing communities through uh, the Hyperloop and other forms of transportation. So the incredible opportunity to tie our front range together with better transportation that re reduces the time barriers uh, provides an opportunity for those businesses to thrive and also for us as uh, users of the transportation system to get where we need to be quicker and to get on with the things that are valuable in our life. Being able to move, say, from Denver Airport to Aspen, Colorado in a very short period of time through a Hyperloop, uh, these are tremendous uh, advantages in terms of saving time and, and making uh, our experience as humans much more productive. The challenge, I think, on the front range is to take the relative remoteness, but to understand that it will become the center of Denver, full stop. 
and to anticipate that and to put in place already the kinds of governance, the kinds of both environmental and cultural sensitivities that would allow it to be a real city as opposed to simply thinking of it as another piece of land to be bought and sold.